Hey there, Tube Ubers. TJ Pyramid here. This is a video response on here to my good buddy, Tim Walker. The five random Blu-rays. Uh, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a video response, being as I have done a video response to the other ones that he's done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with... Uh, well, let's just go ahead and start with uh, Tim Walker's favorite film of all time. Can you see it there? Taxi Driver. Uh, if you don't know what Taxi Driver is about, then uh, I guess you're not a fan of cinema. But I, I just really want to show this release. It's a really cool release. Good old Peter Boyle. <clears throat> Good old Peter Boyle. Putting on the Ritz. It's a really cool edition here. It opens up. And of course you got Lobby Cards. Jody Foster. Just an awesome little edition. When it came out, it was really cheap, too. I think this brand new was only like uh, $13 or something like that. And I was really surprised when it came out and I uh, saw it for that cheap. But uh, you get a good amount of special features right here. Um, original 86 commentary. Another commentary. Martin Scorsese on the taxi driver. Um, and another thing they do I like, which... Uh, a lot of movies don't do a lot of an older movie to a special feature. I think uh, like Travis's New York, the changes of New York from 1976 to today. Uh, I also have one on a, a Nosferatu release that has the original location of Nosferatu, and then they show those same buildings today. I like that when they do that on movies. It's fun to see the changes. So yeah, Taxi Driver. Uh, a movie that I think I'm the only one in the world that liked. Uh, but, uh, I just like, uh, fantasy films with, uh, swords and, uh, magical thingies and whatnot. So, uh, Snow White and the Huntsman. Yeah. I like that cover, too. I like the way, uh, the birds coming off Charlie's Theron and stuff. I don't know, I just, uh, just really like that, uh, just really like this movie, Assault in Theaters, actually. Um, yeah, I just like, uh, sword and sorcery and whatnot. I don't know. Uh, love these guys here. Uh, this is done by the uh, Spirit Brothers, who also did Undead, and they have a new film out, or coming out, called Predestination. This is Daybreakers. Um, good cast. Not a huge fan of Ethan Hawke, but, uh, he's good in it. But this is just a fun take on the, uh, whole vampire thing. I think it's a really enjoyable film. I like it. Uh, The Crazies, with this absolutely ass-terrible cover. I think that is just a terrible boring cover. Of course, this is the uh, reboot with uh, Timothy Oliphant and uh, Roddy Mitchell, both of whom I like. Uh, I think I even like this better than the Romero one. I just I like I just like everything about this film. I like the the crazies, the zombies, the insane, whatever they may be. I just like this film a lot. Uh, I was always hoping that there'd be a sequel of some sort, uh, probably called The Crazies Two, or maybe uh, Still Crazy. Or maybe uh, they could uh, get Gene Wilder and uh, Richard Pryor and do Stir Crazy. No. So the crazy, yeah, the reboot, the remake, the whatever boot, the whatever make. I like it. And uh, last up, for fans of apocalyptic movies, this is one that I can't push enough. This is an absolutely kick-ass, badass film, people. Bounty Killer. Road Warrior meets Kill Bill. Usually I don't like those taglines, but that fits this film very, very well. It is the Road Warrior meets Kill Bill. Some kick-ass action in here. Um, some over-the-top action, as you expect. And of course, if it's like a Mad Max, you've got vehicles chasing vehicles. Uh, you got some crazy-looking uh, post-apocalyptic type characters. And uh, you got some sexy women. you got some handsome men. And uh, they're shedding blood and everything else. Uh... Christina Loken, Matthew Marsden, uh, Eve Jeffers, Beverly D'Angelo, and Gary Busey. Come on, Gary Busey. you got to watch him in anything he's in. But, uh, yeah, Beverly D'Angelo. There you go. Won't recognize her in this film. So, yeah, Bounty Killer. Just a badass, kick-ass, totally over-the-top ass, post-apocalyptic post film with some kooky, wacky characters and some uh, nice, gory bloodshed, axes to the head, splitting them in half. And uh, vehicles chasing vehicles, shooting rockets, bombs, uh, missiles, etc., and so on. So, there we go. There's the video response to Tim 
Walker, uh, aka Ripper of Flesh, Flesh Ripper. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment, subscribe, spread the word, and uh, be good boys and girls out there in this world. Cheers.